Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome to something new, something different, something I haven't tried before on the channel, in a sense. Uh, welcome to solo leveling mod, uh, something I haven't tried, technically. And, I guess also, literally. Okay, so a quick bit of explanation, so technically I've done a solo leveling type series, but that was well before a solo leveling mod existed. That was a collaboration of just a bunch of mods together, and just, you know, going with a theme. Uh, it was fun at the time, but, you know, it wasn't actual, we didn't have actual solo leveling things in it, so, you know, it is what it is. And that was back when solo leveling wasn't an anime, it was just a, it was just a webcomic that I really enjoyed reading. But yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll try and experiment with this. I spoke to people, some people seem to know what this is. And uh, yeah, people enjoyed that series, to my surprise, to some degree. Uh, but yeah, now we come over this time, and solo leveling is now good at its own anime, which was awesome. And it also has mods for it. So I was like, okay, let's go take a look at stuff. And I discovered this mod a while back, as some people well know, because many people have informed me about this mod. Uh, this mod was made by the same person that made Bleach Vibes mod, which I liked Bleach Vibes. Bleach Vibes was fun. It was grindy, but it had cool stuff in it. So, like, overall, it was it was a good mod. Uh, it was for 1.16. This is for 1.18.4. That's keyly what kept me off it for a while. <laughs> I hate switching up into higher Minecraft versions, especially ones I don't already have set up. I have 1.19.2, 1.20.1. Yeah, having to switch over and get on, re download all the mods again for another version. I, I wasn't for it. I was like, ah, oh, it's whatever. I'll just leave it. And then, yeah, and then I gave in and, like, okay, I'm curious. Because a lot of people keep saying this is a pretty good mod. And I. Okay, here I am taking a look then. So here we are in our test run, basically. So a leveling mod. I know. Next to nothing about this one. I've seen the mod page. I loaded up a single player world to make sure everything ran. I jumped in a portal and it instantly became a red portal. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, I had a look through the controls and stuff for this. Uh, yeah, basically this is us kind of having a tester just trying the thing out. So, okay, I may do a series with this mod. I don't know how much is in this mod. So that, that gives us enough to do really a series. Uh, so end up, I may do a series, made a mini series. If we're lucky, maybe I can convince some of the others to come and have a play around. So maybe I might be able to convince someone to come do a stream. Because a lot of my friends are big fans of solo leveling as well. Uh, we have literally a solo leveling D&D game going on. It's on my vlog channel. But yeah, so... Right, stuff. I made a couple of changes for my single player world. There's a thing called target lock. I hate it. Uh, it makes the screen all flickery and... Like, I'll just quickly, I'll just quickly, yeah. To show it really quick, uh, yeah, it does that. I'm not, nah, nah, we're good. Uh, so yeah, I'm just getting rid of that. Plus, I never really dig, I, until you, I, back in the Dragon Block C days, uh, there was a lock on button. It was very powerful. Yeah, I don't use it, because I, I feel it's too easy. I like actually having to rely on my own ability to hit things, so I'm just ain't gonna ignore that for now. So, that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, toggle cheat mode. I mean, not on. I don't know if I need to spawn anything on, but we'll. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, so we've got a use skill button for R. We have got a select skill, C. I don't have any skills yet. And we've got an open menu. That originally starts on O. I moved it to U, a uh, Y, because I'm more comfortable with that button there. So, cool. So Y, menu. We start at level four, apparently. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why, though? Uh, I, I, maybe you just start with a random event? I don't know. Okay, whatever. So, okay, I've got an intelligence of four. When I did my other test world thing, I think I had less than that, because I'm pretty sure I had three rather than that. So, that's the thing. Uh, there's also stuff here. There's guild menus, sayings, there's skills. There's a shop. Some of this stuff's up and some of it isn't, which probably makes me think, no, we can't access it. Okay, uh, we can make guilds, which obviously is a, be a server thing. Uh, shop. Ooh. Okay, so we can sell our crystals, then, yeah, we can buy stuff. Buy equipment. Well, that's interesting. Because, yeah, I mean, a big, a big theme of solo leveling is running around and going, you know, going, 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 stuff. So, um... Yeah, okay, 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 that's, that's interesting. Right, I'll be on, I'll be on. Wait, hold on, wait, it says we have money. Wait, whoa, 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 Show. we have money, we have money! Oh, hold on! <laughs> wait, yes! Buy a thing! Buy all the things! Oh, okay, we've got $100 apparently. Uh, what can we buy for $100? We can buy... Can we buy a dagger? No, the dagger's more expensive, never mind. <laughs> can, buy a ch can buy a shoe? Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that for now then. That's fine. Uh, 
it did say gates opened up. So something it did it was explained uh, when I uh, the, in the mod page in the opening mod page uh, front bit. It does a, a bit of like how to play the game. It, it gives you a very basic rundown of bits in the mod. And one of the things it mentions is if it opens the gate, I believe it's forty eight or yeah forty eight minutes later, a dungeon break will happen. At which point, yeah, all the monsters from the gate will come out, which, depending on the gate difficulty, could be good, may not matter, could be bad. And uh, so that's, that's, that's something to think about. It says the coordinates, minus 25, 63, 40. So that's pretty close. It's not that way, though. That's the way I'm going, so. I'm going to ignore that for now, then. We can go and check out a dungeon once we actually get some equipment and stuff. Although, I do have stat points to spread out. I actually should do that. Apparently, we get to start with stuff. I don't know why. I thought we'd be starting at level 1, but apparently not. So having a look here, intelligence, much like in the uh, webcomic slash anime, increases mana, vitality increases health, strength increases damage, and agility increases speed. We have 14 points to spend for whatever reason. Um, we are at level 4, so the level could be dictating us getting some of those points. Uh, I, I, I don't know. We also start with 30. I, I guess maybe they bring experience to start with just random? Maybe. Anyway, for now, yeah, I feel like increasing our vitality would be a good idea. Okay, so far it's not, my health has not increased any, so. <laughs> I don't know how many points you got to put in to actually make it have an effect on you. So, okay, I'm going to spread my points out a little bit. Don't know what it does. Quest! Hunt 10 goblins. First quest. Daily quest. Run 1,000 blocks and do 1,000 squats. You are, okay, 1,000 blocks. Doable. 1,000 squats. Nah. <laughs> I'm not clicking that shift button a thousand times. That ain't happening. That's nah, nah, nah. On top of that, why a thousand? His was a hundred in the show. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> why Why is that that high? That doesn't... I guess because you can't do push-ups and like, sit-ups and stuff. But, like, that's not an excuse. I'm not clicking that button a thousand times. That's not happening. <laughs> also, like, so, daily quest, day in Minecraft. A day in Minecraft is, I believe, 20 minutes? Uh, by normal standards, I, th I believe it's 20 minutes. I think that's how it goes. Does that mean it's going to be 20 minutes and then, you know, all hell's going to break loose for me? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it, the daily quest means I go to the penalty zone. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> I don't know anything about this mod, really, so... That, uh, yeah, I've experimented with that straight away to find out. That'll be interesting one way or another. Okay, I need to get just general resources and arm myself. Then, yeah, if we can get a look at a gate, we can try going in, see what happens. But I imagine we're going to want to get armor and stuff because, I don't know, I, I mean, I suppose there are items. Uh, yeah, hold on, we scroll around. Uh, Goblin Assassin. Yeah, okay, there's a whole bunch of items in here. So, like, what stuff is in here? There's a magic generator. Hello? Okay, start from the top. We got a gate exit, a mana crystal, a trader block. We can make it as well using copper, iron, and thing. Okay, there's a magic generator. No idea what that would do. Uh, an energy bank. Okay. Uh, a quarry. A quarry? Maybe a quarry? Could be. Energy mirror. Cannot craft it. An old key. Cannot craft it. Test item. Just for mob development. Ignore. Kill. Cool. Uh, dungeon gate. S rank key. Imagine that's to go to that place. Yep, kill it. There's an arrow of mana. Then there's, okay, all the basic classic weaponry. Can you craft it? No, but you can enchant it. Good to know. Uh, do, 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 do. Then he has a bunch of fancier gear. There's a magic orb. So that's, that exists. Commissioner's Wrath. Okay, so that's a, that's a bunch of later. <laughs> that's a bunch of later on stuff, Kyo. Uh, <laughs> ignore that for now. There is also Bleeding Six and Pierce X enchant book. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's a magic crystal and a whole bunch of spawn eggs. Okay, so yeah, there's a fair amount of just bits in here. Interesting. Okay. Well, with my cobblestone right now, I want to quickly just make basic gear and uh, we'll, see, we'll see where that gets us for now. I don't... Uh, I was about to say I don't need a sword. So technically, I haven't put a lot of extra mods in right now. I, I'm mostly chilling with just like the more basic bits. AK didn't put like tech ton stuff in to like get better equipment. I arguably probably if I'm doing this as like a serious thing, I arguably probably will at some point. But for now I haven't. So I don't think I really need strings. I can't make a backpack out of it or anything. But yeah, if I'm gonna add in tetra later, then that, that'll be a thing to think about. But 
That'll, that'll be if I just say Tad, like, I, I just pretty much took the mirror basic mods. Literally, literally, if I go over, like, the mods I've currently got in this pack, it's, it's not a lot. Like, I put artifacts in, because getting night vision goggles in case we need it could be good. Uh, I put dummy in, just in case I wanted to test hitting things. I put, obviously, uh, the city, the uh, Lost Cities one in, just because I thought it would kill if a portal spawned in one. That'd be, that'd be kind of neat. Put iron chests in, uh, journey map. I put neat in so I could see stuff, and then just like mouse tweaks in general, bits like like I I, I put a couple of mods in to help with frame rate because yeah, 1.19. Oddly enough, suffered the same problem as fucking 1.20. The frame rate decided to go crazy. That was that was fun. Anyway, quick test. I currently have 38 x sprue. If I kill a monster, okay, my shit has gone up. Thing neat. Uh, I don't get any experience for that. Okay, so it has to be mobs from the mod to get experience. That makes sense. That killed that zombie in one hit. Oh, okay. Oh, we're playing that game. Okay, we are we are way strong. Okay, regular mobs, not an issue. Uh, that said, though, my health is still the exact same as what it was. I need to get hit. Hold on. Hit me. I still took damage. Okay, so I, I guess you have to put a lot more vitality in to increase your hearts. Good to know. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. Okay, so I can't get experience this way. The only way I can get experience is either by, I would assume, then completing quests and killing things from the gate. Do I bother going near the gate right now? It would be a terrible idea, but we could go there just for a quick nosy inside. Uh, sure. Where does it say the coordinates for that war? Minus 286. So we say like minus 2820? Okay, hold on, I just head that way. Okay, I carry off. See, if I like punch these guys, just raw with my fist. How much am I doing? A good bit, actually. Yeah, okay, our, our increasing our raw strength is definitely doing something then. Well, that's neat. Good to know. Okay, okay, okay. So the strength stat definitely valuable. <laughs> definitely does good work. Definitely no complaints on that one. Uh, Vitaly, on the other hand, I uh, yeah, we need to see what the ratio is because right now, obviously, it's done. He hall far is speed. I'm not sure if I failed at this point. I'm also hoping speed might give me a slight jump boost, but I don't know if it will. Uh, that's big ifs and buts right there. Yo, yeah, I'm eating rotten flesh. Apparently, that's. That's uh, that's the hunger levels we're getting to. Kill. Okay, I have an animal right now. I I just want to go check her out. Like I'm I'm only here for like you know a quick nosy. I just want to check some stuff out. And there's a skeleton chasing us. That's unfortunate this time of day. Oh wait, there's a gate. Oh, okay, we're going over there. It has been a while since I've been this desperate for easy food. We are we're making mushroom stew. I I can't, literally cannot remember the last time I did this. <laughs> <laughs> gonna make mushroom stew to get me going for the first little bit because yeah I I, I, I I could go get animals I could go get coal and stuff that's a whole normal minecraft thing but there's a gate sitting right there I want to go check it out so yeah we're going this route <laughs> for the first time in forever we're going this route I believe I need yeah two different types of mushroom I'm gonna go get a little mushroom okay okay I think in a dead sprint I'm actually starting to feel the effects of that agility like even just slightly I, I do think I'm slightly quicker than I normally am so, feeling that. Also, yeah, I found a lot of animals that are here. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, never mind getting cold. I'm just going to go grab loads of wood. Straight out way. I did find a furnace earlier, so. No, my shrooms do. Plans out the window. We don't need it. Well, 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 well. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if we need it. But, like, we're, we're going to save that for now. <laughs> it's damaged hunt these animals. Yeah, I'm going to have a bad position. The uh, skeletons are causing me a bit more of a useless. They're being a bit more of a useless than I would like. Thankfully, I can one-shot most creatures with just, you know. Me X, so that's nice. Where is that skeleton that shot at me? I don't know. I don't see it anywhere. That's unfortunate. I am near that portal by me. It's right over there. I just want to actually have full hunger before I go in, and I assume get slaughtered by whatever is coming to get me. So right. Well, to avoid going mining entirely, I did go grab more cobble, but safe for now, I didn't find any coal straight away. So I've just gotten some charcoal. I'll get torches in case the dungeon's dark. I don't know what I'm walking into here. Sure, I would like to shoot, but I haven't found the iron, so whatever. <laughs> this is definitely a bad idea. Uh, I, I, I can't think of any way that this is a good idea, uh, what I'm currently going to do. Walk in dungeon lab, I, I just want to see. I just want to see how it goes. I might instantly die. You know, that's okay. That happens. We can always just, you know, come back. Or at the very least, you know, a dungeon break will happen, and we'll see those monsters again at some point anyway. But, uh... Right now we've got a little bit of time. See, so yeah, I'm going to grab all the food I can. I'm just going to go in and just see what happens. 
we can kill something, we get a level up, cool. If it are just destroyed straight away, then great. My only experience going through a gate is I did a test world and it was a red gate, so <laughs> not exactly a um, helpful experience. I don't know what the odds of a red gate are, because I don't think it was red when I walked in it the first time, but um, yeah, now we ended up walking through one of those, the test world, I just... I just wanted to see everything worked and make sure everything loaded and didn't like crash at that. And yeah, that happened straight away. But yeah, these are cool. Hello? Yo. It's a big gate. Uh, I don't know if gates uh, come in different sizes. Uh, <laughs> it, it just says gate, so I can't really uh, judge anything from. Okay, yeah, yeah this is a pretty. I assume it, the gate size has nothing to do with anything. It's this magic capacity that matters. And, uh,. Can I get we're looking at here? Well, I am in the void. I am next to goblins! Okay, it's a slow, it's a low level thing. No, oh, they were quick though. Uh, we are... Uh oh, what? Goblin shaman. Oh! oh dear. I just wanted to kill at least one. I killed at least one. I'll take it. Yeah, okay, we got jumped there. I got one XP for that. <laughs> okay, it was goblins. They were right on me as soon as I came in. Interesting. Right, uh, I don't think there's any reason not to just go in again. Uh, luckily, I can just keep respawning. They don't insta-kill me, so they're not that extreme. Uh, so, sure, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll just have an hour crack at them. I am really curious about Dungeon Break. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to clear this before, you know, timer. But at the very least, you know, I'm going to get away with a Dungeon Break. That could be cool. All right, let's give it our crack at this. I'm also putting that there because I have a feeling I'm gonna need to warp back here again and again. And that instantly got destroyed. Cool. Ow. Uh, yeah, this hasn't worked much better. Ah, but this time I managed to get a hold of the mana crystal. Interesting. Uh, that's worth one. <laughs> Open thing. Shop. Sell crystals. I have a hundred. Not even a hundred and one ten. I've got a hundred. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. I have $101. The shield has become a cost has increased to $100 in shop and change. Huh. Okay, then. <laughs> Is there anything, anything? Like, I mean, okay, armor's not actually too expensive. Okay, diamond is a little more expensive. Oh, there's a minor reader there. Oh, that's where it is. I can just buy bread, yo. <laughs> Could have saved up, could have, could have just bought that and, you know, used that. No, nah, the goblins on you since so get in the door. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll just buy some armor then. Why not? Because I'm going to go, I'm going to go in and, like, try and kill them anyway, so... Sure. Like, assuming I can find my footing and kill a couple of them, then, you know, this will work out anyway. And that's a level 12 goblin. Uh-oh. Okay, at least the, 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 the spellcaster one isn't here this time, though, so that's good. I don't want to keep moving towards... Okay, got him. Uh, I want to keep moving towards other goblin groups, so I'm going to try and circle. That seems to be working. As long as the caster went there. I missed. Bonk. You leveled up. Kill. <laughs> we did it. We did the thing. Okay, so kill. I didn't really get to look at this before because, you know, chaos. Apparently, uh, yeah, stuff, stuff goes down in the ground in this town. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I don't know where the spellcaster went. I see this. Ow. Goblin. Yo. Oh. Uh. Oh god. They're like they're like midget zombies. I can't I struggle aiming at some of those sometimes. So yeah, okay, they've got lower hitboxes. I need to remember to aim downward. Kill. Cool. Alright, we are winning. We're we're handling it though. Okay, I guess pick a direction. Also we can see from here the boss is a hobgoblin, so. Move in that direction. I'll just move in eight. Uh, uh, your goblin man. I can't even see him because of the fire. Ow! God! Uh, axe is too slow. <laughs> Ain't like a fully charged this dog. Yeah, I missed. Okay. Yeah, well, that went that went bad really quick there. Uh, yeah, the goblin hit me. And they moved forward. I, I, I couldn't see where the feck he went through the fire very well. I top that rock my screen, I'm already hating the fact I have to aim down at these feckers. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, this is the type of combat where I definitely like to have a shield so I can counterattack. But also, you have a sword or a dagger. Because I'm, I'm realizing right now, I am way too used to having my dagger in slime mods. 
The axe is so much slower and I keep trying to hit quicker because of it. That'd be what it'd be. Okay, uh, yeah, here we go again, I guess. Anything at the door? New. I'm assuming this specker's still here. Yeah, he is. Also, I had points to go spend. I really should have done it. I want to kill him before anything else. Never mind. I, I'm aiming too high. I'm missing his hitbox. I mean, yeah, that or he's just walking over me, but whatever. Okay, leveled up. So, uh, level five to get the next level costs 55 XP. I, I don't remember what the previous level was. It was, it was. it was something. Uh, we get three points for leveling up. Neat. They're all going in strength. <laughs> I want to hit harder. I have no magic abilities currently, so it should be fine. Uh, then shop. We can sell crystals. Blood onk. We got 27 for that. Neat. It does seem as we're selling stuff, though, it's slightly increasing the price of things as time goes. But not to an insane degree. But it does seem that, yeah, if you keep buying over and over again, it's going to eventually stack. So I guess that's a way of making sure that even if you get later in the game... Stuff's not gonna, you know, get cheaper just because. If you, the more you basically sell, the more uh, things will cost, to a small degree. Which okay, that's a that's a that's a that's an economy thing that kind of works. That, that could be interesting. So you know, see how the balance of it goes. And obviously, the more I keep saying updating, keeps adding more items and stuff. It could be cool. Right again. All right, where is he? Where is the fucking? There he is. There's the caster. I missed the can. Got him. Yeah, I need to be slightly. Back. Aiming, aiming down at these guys, I keep missing them. <laughs> that's something I'm, I keep missing them. I keep, I keep aiming just a bit too above them. That's a ten, a sixteen, nice. Uh, yeah, then there's some more. So okay, the uh, regular goblins not too big a deal. The higher level ones do seem to have slight differences in stats. Okay, I think they're moving slightly quicker. Quest cleared. Oh yeah. Ooh. But uh, quest. Goblins hunt golems. That's a jump up. Uh, we did a thousand blocks. Quartz. It has been a day, though. So maybe there's no penalty thing for that. Maybe it's just, uh, that'll happen. That said, though, I, I don't know how much XP I got from killing those four goblins, but I imagine it wasn't all that. So I'm, really, I'm assuming my quest gave me a chunk of XP there. Yo! Hello there, little goblin. Where did you come from? Did you spawn? Or, like, did you walk over? Or... <sighs> you again. A decent health tool. Ugh. Ow. Out. I'm wise to you this time. No, I'm wise to you this time. Another one! No! Yeah, okay, we didn't level up from that, but I did get... Job. Sell crystals. 51. I think I, I, I do know enough to buy another armor piece. <laughs> Not enough for leggings. Okay, never mind. Uh... Yeah, okay, the, the clear obvious thing is you should go and get some gear before trying to go in. Even a low level get, uh, gate is going to give you a little bit of trouble. Well, specifically the castles are giving me trouble. Like, the actual fucking goblins themselves, not really a big a deal. The caster, on the other hand, is being a problem. That's mostly just because my aiming is shoddy. If I was aiming better lower down, this wouldn't be as big of an issue. Also, you, feck off. How much damage am I doing? A decent chunk. Be a Jean being a good for your hits. I think uh, going by the damage thing at bottom there, 3.35. Neat. Alright, again. Ow, 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 ow. What? Uh oh. That's level 15 goblin. Oh dear. That's not good. Also, yeah, I have not dodged a single. Okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have not managed to dodge a single one of these fire attacks. I'd like to dodge at least one. I also normally like to try and crit things as I fight them, but that's a little harder when they're smaller. I end up missing. God, I shuck at this. Ugh. Okay, got him that time. Bonk. I do think actually mixing this one with epic fight mod could be fun. That could be a move. Oh, wait. These crystals are actually worth money. Oh, hold on. I mean, they also are lighting things up. That's what torches up for. Uh... Uh, it's not a mage. I'll take it. <laughs> it's not a mage. I'm chilling. Uh oh. With my bare hands. Absolutely. Uh, badonk. Badonk. There we go. Oh, I healed. Uh, ba -da. More goblins. I don't know how big this thing is, actually. Oh, yeah, sure. It's also my map actually does tell me where a bunch of the goblins are. Probably could utilize that in some way to do cool stuff. I hit a spike there. Okay. <laughs> Let's try to do my crit hit. Yes! Finally level up. Get out of here. 
Great, kill, stuff, uh, quick things, shop, sell crystal. It does sell them all, kill. All right, yeah, in that case, uh, yeah, grab, yeah, leggings. No, not sell crystals, buy, buy armor. There we go. Ooh, my armor's start getting damage from the enemy. Neat, I really should focus on getting a weapon at some point. I imagine the sword and dagger would be quicker than this thing and do still decent damage. But okay, we leveled up. We got another two points for that. Okay. Oh, wait. Did the job give me a point then as well? So level up gives you two points. A job and the, completing the job gave me an extra point? Maybe. Uh, that said, though, yeah, experience requirement. Uh, we're for 55 66. This is going to start stacking up, I imagine. We're going to keep boosting strength for now because that will help us defeat the, the little guys a little quicker. But sure. Okay, yeah, we're grabbing mana crystals. That's, uh... That's worth it. That's a big lad. That could be the hobgoblin. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, he's a big, big lad. He also has a big, big weapon. Um, oh yeah, these are like fucking little. These are rogue types or something. They're putting poison on me when they hit me. That's good to know. Shop, sell crystals. Seventy-three. Yeah, sure. Just complete the armor set. Why not? Get that done and dusty. There we go. Fully equipped. Uh, with well, thirty-two dollars to spare. Hello, little goblin. Bonk. Oh. Hitting the spikes didn't do me any favors. Got him. Okay, these are just little goblins. Oh, the big one's coming. Oh, the big one's coming. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Dodd, how is your, uh... Okay, you're getting stuck in the environment. I'll take it. Until the little one frees you. Little one, freedom! Damn it! <laughs> Oh, he's quick. Oh, he's much quicker. Oh, he's much quicker. <laughs> oh, he's hitting his allies, though. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Get out of the way. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, uh, not, not too bad, though. I think, I actually, with my agility, I am actually quicker than he is. Quicker enough for... Ooh, he's right behind me. Oh, dear. Also, he does have a big boss area. Neat. Oh, feck. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Utilize our speed. Utilize their... It's or not that much quicker. We're a tiny, tiny bit quicker. <laughs> Quick enough for a snack? Quick enough for a snack? I'll take it. Give me that. Not by much, though. Oh, little goblin. Little, not little goblin for long. That little guy is getting uh, hammered here. I'm really glad I bought this armor. Oh, feck. Run. Run and heal. Run and heal. Run and heal. Eat. Oh, you missed. Feck you. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I would like to clear the glass in this area so I can actually hit him. So, uh... I try and circle and hit him. Will that work? Kinda. So attacks are aiming down and nap. He's not. Okay, he's jumpy attack something. But yeah, okay, with my armor and that, I yeah, okay, I can take his hits decently well. It's only the, it's only the spell cast I've had real issues with out here. Now the damage is piling up. Never mind. Hold on, run. Right the corner sharply. Eat. Okay, he caught me there. Uh, need to run past him. Yep, okay, we're Okay, we're mad. We're mad. Ow, never mind. You still got attacks and catch. I need to be jump. I need to be jump moving. I need to be jump moving. If I jump move, I can. I I speed him. By a little bit. He's gotten caught in something. I'll take it. Ayo. They're caught too. Though, what are you caught on? I mean, I'll take it. Slowed you down for a moment. Get me heal. I mean, I think I was gonna heal anyway. Killed the boss. We're 15. Not worth that much more. Uh, clearing a dungeon. What should I do? <laughs> well, what would happen if I stayed in here? Would things go bad? Oh, you've got a bow. Yo. Okay, goblin archers exist. Noted. And he's in grass making a can't. I literally can't hit him because I keep hitting the grass. <laughs> oh god. Shop. Sell crystals. Womp. Okay, we got quite a bit of money from that. Yeah, in that case, now we can buy a weapon. Uh, in that case, there is. Yeah, the dagger. Dagger is attack speed too. Absolutely. Buy dagger. Dagger, we better. Alright, guys. Another archer! I can hit so much quicker now. But there's still also a whole bunch of monsters. Alright, I got him. 
Alright, well, that got bad for a moment there. Okay, yeah, archers, they suck. Going grass there, a terrible idea. They will, they will literally just, just cover for them. They can literally just hide it. You're just a little goblin. No bother. Okay, this is working out better. That's a caster up there. That's still a problem. Oh, yeah, some of these guys are actually different sizes. Like, this one's way smaller. Huh. Right, anyway. Uh, caster, I'd like full health for this. Because they are a pain. I did not dodge his initial attack. Also, his friends are in the corner. That's not good. That's really bad, actually. Oh, wait. Oh, he's not doing as much. Oh, my armor. Actually, just full. Also, oh god, there's quite a few of them. Uh, <laughs> feck. Ow, 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 I hit a spike! Damn it, I was backing up trying to fight them. It didn't work. Run, keep running, keep running, keep running. Okay, we're getting a little bit of distance. I'm at the portal. I could just run at this point and leave, but I, I, I want to kill them and get their crystals because I'm great. Never mind, I got kicked out. Or did I right click the portal there? I have no idea. Either way, jump down, we won! Ignore the fact I died a bajillion times. <laughs> Why would that be real? Oh, no, no, it's fine. Uh, okay. That kind of worked out. Dungeon. He's a little goblin one. Wasn't easy for me. I, I struggled a bit there. But yeah, I, if you by trying there, you can throw yourself in, get armor. Buy armor, essentially. So you don't actually have to go mine the stuff you don't want to. So that's cool. Uh, and then, yeah, eventually you can just smash money. Uh, the mana crystals being worth money, that's cool. That... Another way of getting stuff while you're just out and about. Regular mobs don't give XP. That's something to bear in mind. But, I mean... Yeah, as long as dungeons keep spawning, it's not really a big deal. That said, though, yeah. I'm not, another one hasn't appeared so far. So, I don't know if that's a case of as you travel, you'll find them. Or whether it's uh, just a time thing of just, they'll just appear randomly. I know a dungeon's minute lasts 48 minutes. I don't know if that means after 48 minutes, another dungeon will spawn. Alright, that'd be, that'd be something to just, you know, sit around and find out, I guess, as time goes. Yeah, I guess while you're waiting for another dungeon to spawn, you would just start prepping your stuff, start prepping, you know, base, equipment, and things like that, and go from there. Dagger, we got 700 durability, 9 attack damage, 2 attack speed, so it's, like, as strong as the axe, but, you know, nearly 3, like, it's 2 and a half times as quick, basically. So, uh, definitely, uh, definitely a bigger upgrade. <laughs> Thinking the caster still caused me problems no matter what there. Uh, yeah, I, I think part of that was also just me, I don't know, just to... A slight change is thing. I've been playing the slime mods. I had a dagger that was really quick and had extended reach and stuff, and I got far too comfortable using things like that. And, uh, yeah, my, my own performance was pretty poor there. That said, I also walked in naked with an axe and thought, yes, yeah, it's a good idea. So, you know, I was, I, I was destined to get destroyed there. And there's an arbor. Oh, okay. Again, don't know if that was me traveling over around or whether it was just a time burst thing, but... Another one's appeared. Where's this one? Is it the same one? It's not in the same direction. It's now going more south this way, and... Uh, well, it's not around this way, but I need to go this way to actually get in. Okay, it's, uh, it's a bit deeper. Let's go find it and see if it's the same type of portal. It probably is just in our goblin portal, right? If the cars are being made, like, partially on, you know, how strong the player is, then... I imagine it's still a low-level goblin one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this time it has spawned in town. On top of a building. <laughs> sure, okay. This should be fine. We'll just walk in and go and get it. That's, that's perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, literally. It's literally up these stairs. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, well, I used most of our resources in the last one, so I didn't expect it to be an attempt to really clear this one, but... I do want to go take a look. More goblins! Wait a second! <laughs> okay, that's interesting. So, okay, so it's the same dungeon, same place, but it's respawned stuff in. But yeah, it's my my torches are still here. Okay, that's interesting. So it, it randomizes your spot in the dungeon though, because this isn't the same opening spot as before. I think that means the boss is always in the same place. So well, that'll change too. Okay, 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 but yeah, it has got, it's, it's just done goblins again. I don't know how many, uh, how many actual dungeons there are, but, you know. Either way, I just wanted to check it out and try and find out. So, yeah, I guess if we just ignored it for long enough, a dungeon break would happen and all the goblins would come pouring out. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, okay, it's a, it's a fun remod. Obviously, I can see how it'll easily start getting really grindy, but I imagine as you level up and fight stronger points, you'll also get more XP. So, I don't know if that'll help balance it out or whether it just will become... 
Well, I mean, the, the nature of leveling up, it's going to get grindy regardless as you get higher leveled. It'll just be a case of what sharp degree does that happen. I'm still not entirely sure on a bunch of this stuff, like, you know, Vitality. I have no idea when that actually kicks in. I certainly didn't get additional hearts or anything for it, so... I'm guessing it's that you put a lot of points in Vitality and eventually you'll get an extra heart. So that's, that's like a big investment one. Uh, strength has been really cool because I've just, I'm one shotting skeletons and stuff, so that's, that's been easy. Speed doesn't invest too much in that, I guess. And you still get a decent ish bonus to speed things. But yeah, as we saw with the boss, they get kind of quick too. So, I mean, yeah, I guess agility would be important. Intelligence, pointless right now because I don't have any skills, but I imagine once you get skills, we're pretty useful. Uh, there are bits here. Oh. Can adjust your max speed. Oh! Oh, in case you put your agility super high because you want to be slow. Okay, okay. Uh, you can just eliminate the daily quests. Neat. I don't know if there's an up or downside to that. You can show true damage. I guess that's why it's telling me damage in the middle of my screen. Hide class in guild, folks. So I guess if you start a guild, you can choose to hide what you truly are. Neat. Okay, because right now we're job entails nothing, so. That's the whole thing. Uh, yeah, the quest too, we're just continuing on. I guess the daily quest thing is just, you can, it, there's no time limit on it. It's not in a day. It's, uh, over time. So, over time, I eventually will do a thousand squats, because I'll press shift a thousand times. Alright. Skills. I have, it says skill two here. Okay, well, it's not actually doing anything when I click activate, so wait, can I switch skill slot, job none, skill two. It says I have skill too, which I thought meant I had two skill points, but I don't actually know how you'd unlock a skill, so that's that's just there for now. Maybe we need a job for that first. I don't know. Well, okay, either way. The menu, like, this looks cool. It, like, you know, it, this this looks nice. This guy, I, I like, I quite like how the menu stuff's set up for this. So far, this has been quite cool. Uh, and the system's fairly simple, straightforward to understand, so... Black and yeah, I still don't know how half of this stuff works, but I guess that'll be some stuff we're going to discover or comment section. You just can tell me how some of this stuff works if you feel like it. But right, anyway, I think for today, for just the first little look at this mod, I'm going to end things there for now. So thank you everyone for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Let us know in the comments. Are you interested in seeing me generate more soul leveling stuff? Because, I don't know, assuming it works on servers, I could maybe see if other, other people... When I come play, I don't know if it works on servers yet, but given it's got a guild system, I assume it's intended to work on servers, so... That could be a thing, I don't know. Or, uh, so we'll see. But yeah, if anyone has any advice for how the mod stuff works, let us know down below, because that'd be interesting to know about. And, of course, uh, yeah, if we are going to play, does anyone think it's a good idea to mix all the mods in? I don't know, I was looking at this, I'm like, yeah, Tetron's uh, Epic Fate mods, they could be cool. I don't know. There's no point adding anything that adds in extra mobs, because you don't get XP for it, so they're, that'd just be extra stuff to fight. To flat, to just to show off that you have it, uh, really good stats, but aside from that, like, yeah, I think epic fight could be fun, just because animated fighting is always fun, and this mod doesn't seem to have any issue against it, plus it let you learn skills like the guard skill, backflip skill and things, so that's kind of cool. And then, yeah, Tetra in general, because it's always just anime mods, so I don't know. If I, if I play more of this, I might add some more mods in. We shall see. But, anyway, for now, people, thank you for watching. Catch you all next time for whenever we do more soul leveling mods. Go! Buy it from Buddy. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of our channel members for the extra support and a special thank you and shout out to our lead members, the Johnny members, Sebastian Ramsey and Aiden is gone, and our Unbe member, Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Battle, battle, battle.